This Friday morning, time for our weekly film review. Uh, and Daniel Rutledge is here to tell us what's worth a watch this weekend. Morning, Dan. Good morning. Um, right, we always start with a new release. And you have chosen Magic Mike XXL. There wasn't a lot else out this week, yeah. Good. So I, I went along to this film. I was hoping is... there'd be a decent reason for choosing this one. <laughs> well, it was either that or Madame Bovary, which is a bit of a nothing film. So I went with the, the big film that will be a lot bigger and uh, for sort of film stepping outside my comfort zone somewhat. All oh, right, because you were sitting essentially in a, a theatre full of um, women who were aroused. <laughs> Oh, am I perhaps, right? I mean, it's not. I was just, I'm just telling you how it is. I was certainly laughing a lot. Um, but yeah, Magic Mike XXL is is quite a dull what, film. What does XXL refer to? Uh, extra, extra large. I think, but in this film, I have no idea. Okay. It's, it's just, it's just this kind of sexy way of saying part two, I guess. Mm. Um, okay. But yeah, it's it's a comedy. And it's funny in a few places, but there's really not a lot going on in this. It's a very dull film. And I'll tell you what, what is the yarn? Okay, tell me the I'll yarn. I'll tell you quickly. what happens in this film. Yep. Group of guys, yep. two are strippers, not very nice guys, get together in the worst place in America, yep. which is in Florida, and they go on a road trip to another really terrible place in America, Myrtle Beach. That's Along a, the way, that's a big call, Florida, the worst place in America. On the way, they take drugs, they have dumb conversations about their feelings, they meet some women who are just as boring as them. They get to Myrtle Beach, they take their clothes off in front of a big group of women, and the film ends. That's it. Okay, so is this like just an excuse to show Chatham Tating? Yes, and some of his other good-looking friends in various states of undress. So it's soft, soft, soft porn. Not really. It's pretty tame. If you're going for raunch, if you're going for soft porn, you'll certainly be in the wrong place. It's not. So, um, so is this for an audience of people who would go to one of those male review shows or something like that? Or kind of. Because they're always or, or people who are interested in the idea of it, I guess. Yeah. Okay. But with, um, but I, I mean, the chances of finding a male review performer in, say, Auckland who looks like Jenny Tatum are oh, pretty, pretty low. slim. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, they're not very good. I mean, they, they don't strip off completely. It's not that raunchy, and the stripping is only right at the end of the film. Um, so if you're okay, going for so those it's reasons, it's a poor quality it's... yarn. Yeah. Um, pff, not much going for it by the sound of it. No. Boring characters. They don't really Boring, do anything. Boring, good-looking characters. Because they are good-looking, good as you say. Not All doing right. anything so who's going to watch this? Just uh, sad women? Yeah, I think. Well, I think people who saw the, the first film. So was... if you want to gravitate towards a large group of sad women, go to <laughs> Magic Mike Double XL. The first film was a lot more interesting. The first one was directed by Soderbergh and was a, it was quite clever. It was a it was a male stripper film, but it was a critique of the American dream and a cautionary tale about okay. getting caught up in the party lifestyle. This one, nothing like that going on. Just boring. Okay, so it's not a highly recommend for the weekend. No. Nope. All right, very quickly, you're going to be so proud of me. Um, for the first time in my entire life the other week, I watched an extended version of a movie on a on a Blu-ray. Oh, yeah. Um, and it was The Campaign, Will Ferrell. Uh, right. Brilliant. God, that is a good movie, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, it, and the extended version was great. And you could see the bits that they'd obviously cut out. For pacing and stuff. But, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I yeah. haven't seen the extended version of great that. Great movie. But... Great movie. And one of the bits that's extended is, you know, that wonderful thing where Zach is sitting with his family e explaining that, you know, they're going to have to behave a bit differently mm -hmm. and, and says to them, you know, is there anything you need to tell me now? And it goes around the table so many times, gradually getting worse and worse <laughs> the things they've all done. Um, okay, favourite line from Mag Max. I was going to mention this the other day and forgot to mention it because I, I – uh, not Mad Max from um, Terminator Genesis. Um, what do we want? Time travel. When do we want it? It's irrelevant. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> do you remember that line? Yeah. God, that, that is a good line. Uh, that film is getting really pounded on. People hate it. I, thought I it love was, it. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I really liked it. I think really the action it. is not memorable, and I'm not going to watch it over Terminator 2 or Terminator 1, but what they do with time travel in it is really fun, I think. All right, your pick of the week. Uh, well, uh, just keeping with the theme of... Comedies driven at, at a female audience. I went with Bridesmaids, which is one of the best comedies of the last few years. Completely different to Magic, Mag Magic Mike in that it's got great, great characters. Yep. Uh, it's a really relatable but very outrageous story. Great characters and just solid gags. It's hilarious yep. from beginning to end. And actually, you know, if you haven't seen it, and I'm sure everybody has, but if you've only seen it once, it is well worth a watch again. So whip out and pick up the DVD. Yeah, that, we've got on Blu-ray. It's my wife's favourite film. We watch it actually reasonably regularly. And it's very, very funny. Favourite scene in it? Mine is the wedding dress scene where they're all just basically shitting themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that one. I do love that one. I do love her getting drunk on the plane as well. And, oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, the, yeah, no the, that's the, right. The whole plane the thing is very good. That <laughs> Brilliant. All right, box office. New Zealand box office top five. Well, it's the school holiday, so we've got kids' movies at, at one and two. The, uh, the underrated 
Terminator Genesis in, in number three, raunchy R-rated comedy, which is also not very good, uh, Ted 2 and 4, and the phenomenally successful Jurassic World is in five. Yeah, okay. So so my if I was going to rate these movies, because I've now seen the three, you know, Mad Max, Terminator Genesis, and Jurassic, Terminator Genesis would be my number one of those three, easily, and Jurassic number two, Mad Max is at three. Fair enough. Yeah, I'd go I'm Mad Max number one by a long shot. Oh, I know you would. I know you would. The action in that um, is so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's all it is. There's no yarn. There's no bloody yarn. Um, all right. Thank you very much, Dan. Very <laughs> much indeed. We'll catch you back again soon.